Board of Jessica Jones. Raise your hands. So, who here who just raised their hands was thinking of Jessica Jones the Marvel comic? Yes! <laughs> Thank goodness. So, my name just so happens to be Jessica Jones, and I'm here today to see if, am I Jessica Jones? Or am I Jessica Jones? <laughs> so, a backstory on her. She's a superhero. She has super strength. She has the ability to fly. So I have to do my own backstory to be like Jessica Jones, right? And the, I was thinking, what backstory should I share with you? Because I can talk about myself for days and days. But that's not the point, right? I figure, why not tell you all why am I here tonight? Why did I join Toastmasters? And why am I here to share this experience with you? Well, I work for Elizabeth Arden, Red Door Spa. And I wanted to share really quickly her story. She started her first Red Door Spa in 1910. She created an amazing spa experience and a skincare line. Talk about mobile. And it's very interesting and if not inspiring to work for a company that has such history. It's luxury. It's legacy. It's amazing. But I, I joined the company years ago in, in Victoria County. Extremely exciting level of Victoria <laughs> County. And I decided to tr move into the creative and training department because I love to help people. I love to share information. I love to inspire and see people grow. And as a, a person that's part of the train the trainer, I'm sorry, <laughs> part of the creative training group, I am an administrative coordinator. It's not really the exciting part of the job. The train the trainer facilitating part is what I love. It's why I'm here. And in addition to that, <laughs> I'm the national director of body. I'm the acting national director of body because I don't know a single thing about massage therapy. Never studied it a single day of my life. So I have to regularly stand up in front of people and show them how to be a presenter. Get them inspired to feel comfortable and to use our educational material on a regular basis. So they're here doing what you all are here doing. But they're not in the same nice, open, friendly uh, conditions that we have here because I'm there. And I am the assessor, and I am the person who decides if they become a trainer or if they cannot become a trainer. Talk about pressure, right? So for me to be here and to stand up on this stage and do what I can to keep the adrenaline that's running through me right now tamped down, to keep that waiver out of my voice, puts me right back in that hot seat that everyone in my program goes through. Also, I have to evaluate. So what better situation to be in to share this experience with you and evaluate you on a regular basis to sharpen my own evaluation skills. Especially the whole fact that we have to do evaluations in two minutes. <laughs> I think I evaluated someone for 10 minutes today. I uh, have to work on that a little. <laughs> and in addition to that, being the national director of body, until, please put your hands together, and think the thoughts and pray that we get a new national director soon, I have to be a leader. <laughs> Even still, as a trainer, trainer, facilitator, I have to lead people, guide them, inspire them. So leadership skills being here and sharing that and growing with you all and your guidance is really going to help add a lot of dimension. So that's my backstory. That's why I'm here. So the next thing I have to think about is how do I show my strength? I go on and on about that. I think I'm a pretty strong woman. I move and to go to places all on my own, many times people will say, I would never do that. And I'm like, really? I think it's fantastic. It's a great opportunity. You just throw yourself onto the other side of the world or into another uh, part of the country, and you just see how things go. I just never thought of that. But when I moved here less than two years ago, I decided I was going to stay in my running club, and I was running either in New Haven or Groton. And I was only here for about a month, and I found a tick on my left shin. And I didn't worry about it at first. Like, whatever. Bad things don't happen to me. I mean, yes, they do, but, you know, we, we all go into that protective shell. Two weeks after that, I realized I had Lyme disease. 
So being all by myself, in essence, figuring out that this pain that I was having, this fatigue I was having, was bad enough, but also all of the near misses that I had, near car accident misses, and the two fender benders I had with those pillars in my parking lot garage, I found out that happened because Lyme disease affects your cognitive capacity. And I wasn't using the good judgment I usually have when I drive. So I don't beat myself up about that anymore, thank goodness. And Jessica Jones also has the ability to fly. Ironic, really, because I'm actually very afraid of heights. I could tell you many of my fear of heights stories, and I could also share with you the times when I challenged that fear. I think it's pretty ironic that we're being talked about getting out of our comfort zone tonight and leaping out of a plane and going skydiving because that's what I've always wanted to do. But we'll see if I can get past my fear of heights soon at some point and actually go it out of that plane and fly stupendously. <laughs> right? so, <laughs> my, so my final question to you again is, am I Jessica Jones or am I Jessica Jones? Thank you.